Before whatever you are that you identify with, you should be a good human being. <laughs>Is it? It's like cu cuteness. In your it. heart or something? I guess. Kyun? <laughs> I don't know. It's not kya. I'm doing all right, kira. What? Okay. All right. I know what that is. That's just you're ending your sentences yes. like a stupid person. Yeah. <laughs> uh, recently, we were talking about some food stuff. Yes. And I always remember... My favorite macaroni. Whenever I'm oh. thinking about food, really. <laughs> and, all the time. You know, we talked about this, I think, how I tried to make the macaroni again right. this year right. for Christmas. But it, it it didn't fail, but it wasn't It was fantastic, it. though. Well, it was okay. The The macaroni that... Um, do you like it as well? The one that I'm talking about. You know the one I I'm talking about, right? I know what you're right? talking about. Okay, so there was this church that we used to go to internet. And the chef there, because the church had a chef, <laughs> um, used to make this macaroni pie that was just so amazing. It had the right amount of cheesiness, the mm -hmm. right amount of like MSG goodness, you know, <laughs> with like spices and onions and whatnot. And the, the the top was just golden and, and it, it was not hard crust mm -hmm. either. I've been trying to replicate that. For like years now. Well, not several years. I've only started trying. I started trying last year, right? Yeah. And then I tried. Well, wait, hold on. Year last before. year the year before <laughs> and then i tried again last year mm -hmm. and i can't say that i've been like trying trying because i've only done it at christmas mm -hmm. but yeah she used to work at a hotel and yes. she was she like was, a bona fide amazing chef she was the head person. chef exactly. she was the head chef at the hotel and that's why the freaking food because what used to give food after church and right her stuff she was amazing like damn that lady just for real for real <laughs> if like, for real. the day i think that i'm getting closer to that actually yes anyhow speaking of church now i'm thinking all about all the weird like kid drama stuff from around that time when we used to go there because like, when we went there it was i was like 14 and you were like 12-ish or in the wrong when that age. When we went there, I was no... I graduated high school. The, the, okay, wait, hold on. No. Primary school. I was in class four. Uh -huh. And then I graduated. So it was like 2006 Six? or four. No, we went there before that, though. Well, we were going there for a long time. We had we? been going there before that. Because yeah. I graduated there. Right, right, from primary school. Okay, but I remember just a lot of, like, the shenanigans. So, you know how there's always tell kids to abstain, right? But you in church, and you're a teenager, and you see other teenagers are going wrong, and all of them trying to pair off with one another, all sorts of stuff, and people breaking up, and then relationships forming one another. I just remember that being, like, ridiculous. I remember <laughs> that... There was this girl, an older girl, mm -hmm. Nuna. No, she would be Unni. There was this older Unni, <laughs> Aniki, who used to do my hair. Uh -huh. And she broke up with her boyfriend because he cheated on her with another girl at the church. <laughs> <laughs> I remember this. Oh, God. And did he cheat also on that other girl too? I don't remember what happened after that. Um, I almost yeah. I remember him, and I he always had a slimy. He was a few years <laughs> older than me, but I almost just feel like he had that slimy like 
salesman type behavior type of way. It's always like so you see in his personality with him like messing around with other girls and mm-hmm. stuff like so it's, it's just like bro you, you everybody know you mom is like one of the big heads of the church yeah. what are you freaking doing like messing around with literally like every girl is like he was trying to like I don't think date. it was every girl it you're was... saying there were more than two <sighs> I'm pretty sure he was sweet on that um, other girl that was um, that clear skin girl that came to church later that we know. You remember? I don't even know what's happening. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I don't remember actually because I think after that happened to the girl that used to do my hair, I didn't really care about any of the. I didn't care about their business. You know, I would just like kind of feel bad for her, but also was glad that you know she's not with someone who would cheat anymore. Mm, mm. You know, I just remember that that being a whole that being a whole bunch of stuff that I just didn't care about. Maybe it was because I was a bit younger or and they were a little bit older than me. But I was just like, this seems like a lot a drama. Yeah. That church is too close to where my parents are for me to even be thinking about I like this girl or I like that girl, you know? Right. And, and you some know, these... they would usually say that you should choose, if you're in the church, you should uh, choose in the church. But I, I don't really agree with that. I, I know. Not that I don't want my parents to know the person, but it's I too, feel like... It's too close. Right, right. Because then if something like, you know, cheating or a breakup, <laughs> a bad breakup happens, it's like we still go to the same church. So and we got to see each other on Sunday and we got to see each other at every conference and we got to see each other... All the time. And that kind of split how everybody as friends would fall now. Exactly. Because I remember how people were being awkward around her when he cheated and because he didn't really care in a way and he's he that type of person. He didn't care in a way. He did and not I actually give a fuck. thought that the the two of those, the girls, I thought they were friends. But that terror rift. But see, that, that's another thing too. So I, me seeing that and being like, this is ridiculous like all y'all was friends and then one fella got y'all all thirsty and frig up the whole it time. wasn't like that though I'm just right the one thirsty fella kind of frig up a whole right, bunch that's... of girls and all of them parents are like Did they ministers know? They should, and the parents stuff. They, should know right I don't they know, would man. have known sometimes right? church people could be blind to things that are right under the nose and things <laughs> oh that reminds me of what mom told me, like, later. What? Years later, after we left that church. That, what? Um, that lady, she was... Sta- when This is when we were very new to the church, I believe. And the she was standing up next to a lady. And oh, the, I know this one. <laughs> and... The lady would saw me like walk by, and I was I'm getting taller, so I'm like 15, but I'm getting taller and I'm getting like bigger yeah. and stuff like that, beginning to look like a young man. And the lady standing next to Mama says, "Girl, if I was any younger man, I would jump he bones." <laughs> and, <laughs> right? That time she does not know that that is you're. She's literally talking about this woman's son <laughs> what did mommy say after that did she say anything she just said she look at her oh. and she was like that's my son wow. and she was like oh girl i so sorry i'm so sorry the funny thing is two of them kind of went out to be like friends later yeah. and i get to i got to know her son and we got along well too but that was i wow, i'm so glad she told me that like years later Right, because you would have felt awkward every single felt... time, you know, like if we were at a event <laughs> and she was nearby or if she just passed you by or if she or... barely look at you. Yeah, that'd be going through my head all the time. Okay, but let me ask you now, uh-huh. in any of those instances, did you ever feel anything No. in passing or in... <laughs> no, you mean like if she, she grabbed my hand or she hit me on the butt or something? No, nothing like that. Okay. She kept her hands to herself, Kimberly. That's good. That's great. <laughs> Unlike, like, oh man. Speaking of not being able to keep the hands to the self and staying in church, there's this um, minister 
that person. we knew. Oh, I know who you're talking Minister about. Minister person that we knew yes. was kind of like a friend of the family to Definitely. say. Definitely. Married like how many times now? N- I think it was nine times divorce <laughs> though. It was nine? Wasn't it? I thought it was like six. No, no. Like the last time I heard, which was a couple years ago, it was nine times divorce. Jesus. So this man's a minister, church, nine times divorce, and most of it is stemmed from him cheating, cheating and chasing after all the time, like new, almost the time singers in the choir or whatever. And I don't know how nobody like really tried to call this man or that type I of thing. I think that the gentleman needs therapy. It, it, yeah, you think? I've always thought that you know, if you're cheating habitually, you have it's a problem. a problem. It's like an addiction. Yeah, you understand. You need to be treated for <laughs> it because if you're saying that you like that kind of thing, and Jeez. I mean, how could someone? want to be with the person knowing that history though yeah is what i'm thinking did we meet him did we originally meet him he was like like wife number three or something or probably jeez yeah i think it was three i think it was like his third wife we met and then when we like years had passed and then he had another one but that was wife number five a lot of things that happened (laughs) to the gentleman um (laughs) The gentleman can he, his car in. I guess he's not so much of a gentleman, <laughs> but again, I think that cheating habitually is a problem. Yeah, it's it's yeah. something that needs to be treated. It's within maybe the person's psyche. If it is that he he does like doing that, then that means that he's just a horrible person. <laughs> he doesn't care about others and lo- loves to play... Um, I don't understand the whole what point What is it? Of... Pal money? Alimony? Pal money, yeah. I don't, I don't <laughs> he loves understand. to pay? I don't understand that. Like, what's the point of getting married? You might as well just, like, flirt around or whatever. What's the point of getting married and then having, like, to pay off alimony or whatever, like the payment to get divorced or whatever, all that nonsense. It just seems like a lot of work, you know? If there were any, if any of the, the women who did know about the history and still got with him, that I want to say that maybe a lot of things could have happened. You know, maybe they thought that they could fix him because people often enter into relationships thinking that they could fix another person. This is one thing that you should never do. Mm, no. Um, maybe they thought that their love would keep him with them. Because mm. some people think that as well. Mm. But like I said, if it's really a problem, problem, then no matter how much you love him, he's going to be under the next skirt <laughs> at some point. You know? But isn't it the church that says that you can't divorce as well? It depends on the church upgrading. It Some does. People do our say, church. No. Our church said was, what? I it depends, though. We were what? Pentecostal? Yeah. Divorce is allowed in Pentecostal, as far as I know. And yeah. Because, I mean, it seems like cheating really is like a huge issue in like church because it, it's not this isn't the first time that we went to a church or whatever and the head minister or whatever was cheating you remember that pastor whose son came and stayed with us because the issues were going on at home with his father and his father's apparent affair with uh, uh, once again, a pastor sleeping with somebody from the singing team. This one was more dangerous, though. Because yes. do you remember the time we went? Because she apparently <laughs> kind of went. She went bonkers. Yes. She had a mental breakdown. And yes. she didn't want the guy to leave his wife mm-hmm. and everything. And I'm pretty sure they were going through. They were separated. Yes. I don't think they were completely divorced Not at the time. Yet. But she had a knife and she was mm-hmm. outside her apartment and she was just going wild. Yes. You and I were in the car yes. and I was like crying because I, I thought that mommy would get hurt. Yeah, come and, and daddy was to... out there trying to, they were trying to stop whatever altercation <laughs> was about to happen. And yeah, it was just, 
not from my little eyes. How old was I? I don't Goodness. remember, but I, I remember all of that happening. And I have to say one thing about our parents. What? Um, they, they were always there to help people out. Like, I, I, I watching them, I've seen them, like, help a lot of people and just, like, going through a whole bunch of shit. And they do, like... Like, that whole thing. They didn't need to do that. That wasn't their problem going and, like, stopping a woman from probably committing murder or something. But they went and they did they helped people and were good. I think I've picked up my Christian values and whatnot from seeing my parents be better than other people, I guess. Or just, um... like, just doing good even though they didn't need to. You well, know? I think that that is one of their downfalls as well. But yes, <laughs> being too good can be can come back to bite you. It's in the a ass. strength, but it's also a weakness. True, true. If true. you're too kind, people will take advantage of you. Yeah, though they got some really crazy Christian people. <laughs> That's so true. And when you go to church, you get to see it all up close and. Center. They got a lot of jealousy that's run around in church, man. Like they got a lot of those. What do you call them in the Bible? All the things that they say that you should not. Have. You mean the like the 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 opposite of the fruit of the spirit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that. <laughs> yeah. Like so and so. Like there's just so much. I remember just being a lot of gossip, depending on certain church. If you go to a church and you knew and you. Like just speaking and getting to know people or whatever, and people think that you got some alter. You want to get up close with the pastor or the sister or whatever, and whatever. That was way after a while. Whenever, when we were younger and we used to go to church with our parents, I just, I just used to go. I didn't try to get involved in too much stuff. And whatnot. Yeah. Like I remember, what dad used to be like in a. Uh, you know, media, like, recording or whatever stuff. And I would help him, mm -hmm. you know, because that, I like that stuff. It's pretty simple. I just record the service or whatever and help him out on or whatever things you need to do with the audio and whatnot. Not getting any further involved in certain things because depending on the church and how it does, how, how the church set up and how, if it's like a family close-ish type of church, sometimes they ain't too caring about outsiders mm -hmm. and if you look like a threat they don't want nothing to do with you you know but it's also vice versa wearing that sometimes you meet some really good people who actually are like look out or care about you and there are people that you want to help and get along because i mean up to this day we still know people from like different churches that we've gone to that have been good to us or we've been good to them and they're still like keep in touch just you know not for any reason to like get anything, but just to be like, how are you doing, brother? How are you doing, sister? That type of way. But yeah, sometimes just getting too close to people could be a, a little bit too much drama. <laughs> I think the church is filled with people who think they're better than mm. other people. Some, yes. I, yeah. Yeah. Most people have probably heard this before, but it's the holier than thou Attitude. behavior. Ugh, I remember a part of it. I'm not going to mention her. You can say whatever. I've never met a woman who thought that she was better than everybody else more than her. Mm -hmm. And I, she was a friend of mum, but... Well... <sighs> I don't know if she's still a friend. It necessarily like that. But I don't know. I guess, in my opinion, she was old. And she was set in her ways, I guess, at a point. And but it was that na that was that type of nasty Christian behavior, the kind of like this it's a front, you know? Like she praised God, hallelujah, praise Jesus, she homage that church, whatever, and she behave like what you think some like a Christian would behave. But since we knew them knew her better, it was just like when you see that fall off and just the disgusting person underneath honestly i don't think you can call her a christian <laughs> because her behavior as it is 
is not of a Christian person. I know mm. that my favorite part of the Bible says we've all fallen short of the glory <laughs> of the Lord, right? <laughs> we've all have come and fallen short. Yeah. We're all sinners. Mm. I understand that. But the attitude that she had, the way that she would behave and act and just be to people yeah. was not, for me, a Christian person. It wasn't even just being a decent person exactly. in general. It wasn't like, it, it, it stopped being about Christianity the moment she like left exactly. church. Exactly. She, she, in the first place, was not a proper human being. <laughs> yes. She's very disrespectful. Mm-hmm. Very conceited. Yes. Very hating towards mm. things that she doesn't know anything about. Yes. Just overall not not a nice person not a good person not the kind of person that you'd want to be around yeah you know i know exactly <laughs> who you're talking yep 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 and we had a lot of interactions with her i want to say scars <laughs> on our young hearts <laughs> by her inflicted mm. by her yes because we we're closely related to that person but we're not exactly related. But, you but know we're I mean. not not related. <laughs> it's like by several removed, removed yes. people. Um, but it still exists. It exists. Um, I have to say that I still... I don't think it's a trauma that I have <laughs> that she caused. But there's still something that I do today. Because at a certain point, we had to live with her. Yep. Um... On our own, without <laughs> our parents. <laughs> you know, circumstances, stuff happen. Yeah. But she... She really messed up <laughs> things in my brain for me for a while. And there's still something that I do, a habit that I have done. Because of the stuff that happened at that time. Mm -hmm. It has to do with how I wash my laundry. <laughs> <sighs> Should I explain? You can explain. Okay. Share as much as you want to share. Um, I wash my laundry alone. Yes. I won't wash my stuff with other people's stuff. Mm -hmm. I won't mix my clothing or my towels. Well, actually, I, I just last year started to mix <laughs> my towels. I'm not going to cry or anything. Um, <sighs> but... Because when we were staying by her, she used to make me um, get um, a bucket to uh -huh. wash my 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 school uniform. I never understood why. Yeah, yeah, my school uniform and my underwear. She would make me wash them in a bucket outside. Yeah, in the backyard. We had a washing machine. There was a washing <laughs> machine, and. Christopher could use the washing I have machine. Still not to this day. Why? But I had to I had to wash my my stuff in a bucket because uh -huh. she's a hard ass. <laughs> she's not even a hard ass. She's a jerk. Yeah. She's just a jerk of a human being. Yes, yeah, she is. Um yeah. So Everyone knew that she preferred boys. She had sons, uh -huh. and she preferred her sons, and she had a granddaughter, but she didn't really care for her granddaughter like that. I mean, she, mm. you know, this, is, you know, she was there. Mm. She didn't, like, hate her, but she did not really have a preference for anything that wasn't a boy. Yes. Everything that wasn't male was just crap. <laughs> Okay, and that's why I had to wash my stuff in the bucket in I the still, backyard. I just, I, I'm so glad that we never like lived with her again because uh, she I, was real annoying. She would even come and stand. She would watch me wash my stuff <laughs> in the bucket to make sure I was washing it. Yeah, she wouldn't let me inside. Right, to put my stuff in the washing machine. Ah, Lordy. Anyhow, and that's why I wash my stuff alone <laughs> today. <laughs> yes. It's not that big of a deal, mm. but I don't want to do it. Yeah. You know? And this is, this is, this is the lady who was like, 
always the top of the ch in church trying to do things and like praise the lord thank you jesus i there for you i can pray for you blah 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 all the tongues humble shanda blah 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 you know that type of person that type of person and but behave like that sense of, that that nasty way to like people that they're close to is just i don't know man i kind of it, that kind of experience kind of like opened my eyes more to that it don't matter what people say there is. It always matter about what it do. Exactly. It says what it says, that saying. Well. Um action speak louder yeah, than words. Yeah, action speak louder it's than true. words. Because anybody could get up. I mean, we see it all the time. People claim it, oh, I am a Christian, I'm a pastor, I'm so and so and then a little bit down the road, or oh, the cheating, the sleeping with everybody, and plus the having Bad sex with children, somebody. all sort of foolishness exactly. like that, right? It's fine to believe in whatever God you want to believe in and have whatever values you want to hold dear to you. But me going to church is a hesitant thing. And I, 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 I do not trust the the people and i know that's unfair to a lot of churches that do a lot of work and stuff like that but my experience coming up in like all the different churches and different places is like there's very few where you find some that are trying to be genuine and maybe i'm just um jaded or just we tired. are jaded <laughs> and i literally grew up in the church yeah I because our mm. parents came to the Lord. Around the time of my birth, I believe. Exactly. It was after you were born. Yeah. And I was born in. Yeah. So that is what I knew. Church, church, church. Uh, All the way up. So we get to see we get to see both the good and the bad and the disgusting parts of it. I have a lot of good memories of church. I remember like really liking to go to church when I was younger because in a way the church and like Bible studies kind of like in, kind of gave me an interest in history. Mm -hmm. You know, and nowadays I'm like a huge history buff. It's, I love learning more about history, about languages and stuff. It's all because the Bible is talking about Jerusalem and Israel and Egypt and all that stuff and that just fired something in me to want to learn more about text. It's why I nowadays research have or done research on like the actual Bible mm -hmm. and actual historic texts. Who actually wrote the Bible, the different the the Dead Sea Scrolls, the actual reasons why certain paragraphs in the Bible are still in it mm -hmm. versus like some of the stuff in the New Testament and why certain things might not line up because there's multiple different readers and different writers and whatnot. It's really interesting stuff, but that all started from me just learning stories in like Sunday school and just just wanted to know more. So I will say that church is good most of the time. If you go there for, you know, connecting with people, praise and worship, if you do that, you know, just to have a community that is genuinely there to help out those and, you know, praise the Lord. But you got to be careful because there's still people. Exactly. I think before, before you're anything, before you're a man or a woman or a pig or a tree or, you know, you're pink or blue or brown or you're... Buddhists are Taoists or whatever you are before whatever you are that you identify with mm -hmm. in this world you should be a good human being <laughs> that's what you should aim to be yeah a good human being mm. and then you know if you say hey I really like the teachings of I don't know, Judaism. I'd like to know more about them. You know, religion and all of that stuff comes after, mm. is my opinion. It can also help in you becoming it that can, good person. It can, it can. But what makes you a good person is what you have to determine. True. What makes you not a good person? <laughs> you know, those kind of things. Anyhow. Well, we thank you guys for listening to us 
gossip. Rant and rave <laughs> about our church days. Maybe we have another one. We have more stories about it. But for now, thank you guys and have a good one. Good night, everyone.